Hello trombones, euphoniums and tuba and welcome to our fourth guided music practice video. In today's lesson we are going to be learning about our G natural minor scale skill as well as how to play a our new note G. So our low G for trombones and euphoniums you can see in exercise 22. That G is for trombones in fourth position just here your low G fingering for euphronium is one and two. So from the beginning, you'll notice that bar one for trombones is open position. We have B flat, F, B flat, and then A, E, A, and then A flat, E, A. So it's one, two, and then three. And then the last bar there is four, 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 all the way down. And that's the opposite all the way back. Euphoniums, open, first bar. What's the second bar? Two. And the next bar, all in one, because it's A flat, da, A flat. And then for the next bar, it's all in one and two, because you have G, D, and G. And then again, opposite all the way back. Tuba is a little bit different. So for tuba, we have something a little bit different. It goes like this. B flat, and then D, and then B flat. Then A natural, C, A natural. Then A flat, C, A flat. And then we have E, and then B, E. And it's the opposite for the rest of it. Let's see if we can play it now. I'll play it twice. Trombone and euphonium, ready? Four. <laughs> And the tube part sounds like this. one more time all together. I'm going to have smart music playing the E flat tuba part behind me and then I'm going to play the euphonium and trombone part in front of me. So hopefully this works. <laughs> okay. Um, pause and practice that again one more time making sure you're using lots of air and you know exactly where to put your fingers and where they go. And now let's look at our G natural minor scale skill. So you'll see up the top of the page that it says G minor has the same key signature as B flat major, two flats. The only difference between the minor is that it starts on a different note and that's what it means by natural minor. So a natural minor starts on G but has the exact same key signature as B flat. So we're going to play exercise 20 through 3, singing and fingers first all together. I'll do euphonium fingers. Ready? 3, 4. G, A, B, C, D, E flat, F, G, F, E flat, and then dun, 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 dun. I definitely sang it wrong, but that's okay. I did the right fingers. So now let's do trombone. And that's the first note, G. G, then A. Remember it's second position A because it's natural. B flat, C, D, then E flat, F, 
G and then F, E flat, D, C, B flat, A and G. And for tuba, this is G natural minor for tuba. Let's play it together with smart music, G natural minor. Remember what a natural minor is? So it's the same as B flat, but starts on the G. So G natural minor. and practice that 10 times, remembering what a natural minor is. Now look at exercise 24, the harmonic minor. What's the difference between the natural minor and the harmonic minor between exercise 23 and 24? Hopefully you can see that there's a sharp. So that is if you count from the beginning, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's the seventh note. So you raise the seventh note by a semitone and it becomes a sharp. So it becomes an F sharp, which remember is our fifth position. So we're gonna go G, A natural, B flat, C, D, E flat, F sharp, G. So it's actually easy because you don't have to go back to one. You go three, five, four, and then five, three, four, six, and all the way back down, four, Euphoniums, we have G, A, B, C, D, E flat, F sharp, G, F sharp, E flat, D, C, B flat, A, G. And now for tuba. Now let's play G harmonic minor all together. What's the difference between a harmonic and a natural minor? Hopefully you said that it's the raised seventh. Now look at exercise 25. Can you see what key signature or scale exercise 25 is based on? Hopefully you can. Pause now and see if you can practice it in small chunks, remembering to play F sharps the whole way through. Now let's reflect how we did on in our lesson today. How did you go with your G minor key signature? Do you know the difference between a natural and a harmonic minor? Can you play your new G for euphoniums and trombones? Hopefully you can. Make sure you let me know if anything was too tricky. Keep sending me those smart music assignments. Keep up the good work and happy practicing.